It's a beautiful day. There's a few bonuses looking like cousin Nick. So what were we here for again? There's heaps of food for all of us. Let's get into it. It's always a really interesting experience going to a boneyard, as Addy calls them. He sees potential in the most obscure, rubbishy objects you can imagine. And his ability to, to turn all that junk into functional art, as he calls it, is incredible. Like I've never seen anyone that, that's got that knack of turning rubbish into gold. Half the time I shut him down and he's like, oh, you've, you're the most fussy recycler, aren't you? <laughs> but um, there's no one, no one as good at recycling as Addy, that's for sure. Oh, look, fishy tank. Good bit of gutter there. Oh, what's that? Front of the cubby. Oh, look at that. This is a good little saw stool. Lube it up, get it working. I suppose it is a finger jammer. We don't want that. But that's uh, that'd come in, that come in handy, man. Waste. Quite amazing. I don't want it. Oh, now come on, don't be like that. Now, you tell me a broom with a padded handle. Now come on. <laughs> oh, what a shame there, buggy. Yeah, this is usable. There's a good little bit, bit of timber, mate. That fuck, mate, I wish I had this at home. Oh, you're joking, aren't you? In my world, that could be like, this is like going to... Masters? Bunnies? Might have five. Might have five? Because <laughs> they've only got half the stuff. <laughs> Ooh. Other than the solar. Oh, two shelves. Get out. Yeah, I reckon we could probably do something with this. Look. <laughs> a string line and a squid jig. So what were we here for again? A ladder. A ladder. Yeah, that's right. We've got a broom. We've got everything else but. I was building a second composting toilet. We got the box all finished off. Everything was there. We just needed a set of stairs to finish it off. And instead of going out and buying a set or building a new set, Knew of a dump nearby where there was opportunities to find an old set of stairs off an old bit of machinery, so headed out there and there was this ripper set off this old header that just needed a bit of bashing and tapping to break loose and yeah, sure enough we managed to free it from the old beast and it just fit perfectly, slotted in like a dream and the stairway to heaven was complete. When I first got the property, I was pretty hopeless at building, but just chipping away, I'm slowly learning. The main chicken house we've got now, 100% recycled materials, except for the screws. As soon as you start recycling and, and scavenging for all those materials, people just contact you to like, hey man, you want to come pick up this pile of stuff that we're, we're finished with here? This steel, you know, Rio mesh works great in the gardens too. It's, it's really good for climbing vegetables to utilise. Anything that climbs, gonna love it. It's super strong. Plenty of room to get your hands in and harvest. I think it's just super important to make the most out of all the materials that we have on the planet, from when it's first source to when it's rotting back to topsoil in the, in the ground, you know. This one's called the rusty cropper because there's just rusty materials absolutely everywhere. Rusty rails, old second-hand chicken wire that's rusty. Uh, not afraid of joining timbers together to get a longer span. Well, every single timber on that wall is from the dump. Second-hand gate, great climber. Second-hand alloy door from the dump. Best garden door you can get, super light. 
It is funny how this lifestyle has created pathways that extend into other areas of my life as well. Like with my surfing, for instance, I'm not really making new boards at the moment. I'm just really enjoying getting some of my dad's boards that he made between 50 and 30 years ago and getting them back out and riding them and finding that they go sick. They've got to fix a sting or two and they're back in the water. They might not have that crazy liveliness that a brand new high performance thruster does, but once you adjust your surfing a little bit, I find there's just so much joy to be had in riding these older boards. There's so many secondhand boards out there that we can have just as much fun on if we just shift our approach just a little bit. Come and have a look at what we're doing. We're cooking up a storm. Ta-da! This is our solar oven we're stitching together out of the old computer hardware box and then an old worm farm bin. If we just screw that together now like that is, I'll seal up this edge in here in here and in here, and then we might turn it upside down and start packing it with foam. We can fill it up with all that expansion foam stuff on the inside, plug all the holes up out the front of it, and then it should be all right. Never attempt this alone. Always have an adult on the hand. So these are the reflectors that are gonna throw the heat into the black box so it all heats up. This is our solar powered chocolate cake. Did you always used to want to lick the wooden spoon or the mixing bowl after your mum made a cake, or your grandma made a cake. I did. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Start the bubble. Right, righto, let's see what happened here. With our, what'd you call it? On the petit gouteur. Oh. Yeah. It's mental. Right. For the, first, like for the first test run on a kind of sunny, cloudy day, um, here, have a go. Go on. Uh, you, you go. go on. No, no, no. You have a go. Have a spoon. See what you think. Wow. Have another one? No. Amazing. Is it good? Yeah. Go on. It's really good. Oh yeah, it's not too bad. Ooh. Not too bad for a partly cloudy kind day. of day. Mm. Um. Wednesday we're making shower day. Next time on Farm Boys, Addy and I will show you how to build a simple compost pile to get your garden humming and then we're going to go for a surf to wash off the straw. Mm.